Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Team Respawn, and this is more Halo Wars Mythbusters! In this Mythbusters episode, what we're doing is we're going to see if three Spartans can take on the Arbiter. During our um, one of our Mythbusters episodes, we did a three Spartans versus the Prophet of Regret and the Brute Chieftain, because there's only three of us, so it was kind of hard to have four players there. Uh, to test out UNSC and the Three Covenant. So we're going back here to kind of wrap it up um, of testing the Spartans against all the Covenant leaders. So this is kind of like a sequel to this video. If you haven't seen the original video, I'll post a link in the description. And I'm actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm actually not joined by Slashstorm in this episode. We record our commentary through Skype using a Skype recorder. And for some odd reason, we were recording like usual, and <laughs> the file got corrupted when we uh, stopped recording this episode. So, none of our commentary actually worked, and I don't really want to do a 45-minute re-voiceover for the commentary for the both of us. That's about how long this episode took us to record. So, I'm just going to kind of jump cut here in between of when we're going to put the Spartans up against the Arbiter. I'm playing as the UNSC, Slash Storm's playing as the Arbiter. Uh, our first test, what we're going to do here is I'm going to take three base Spartans, which is the SMGs that they come with uh, as soon as they're trained, and I'm going to send them to the middle of the map, and I'm going to go up against a base Arbiter with no upgrades and see how that works out. So we're going to jump cut to when that happens, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we go. The Spartans are in the middle, going up against the Arbiter. What I find interesting still is the punching animation that the Spartans do in close combat. I actually had no idea that they did that until recently, honestly. So what you can see here is three base Spartans just absolutely just took care of the Arbiter. That was really cool how he uh, took him down, and two of them got veteran. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and mack them. Because when they're veteran, that's kind of going to throw off our, our testing, taking up the Spartans against the Arbiter. And there they go! Oh, well, kiss them goodbye. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. They're just kind of standing there. <laughs> this sound effect. Alright, so since the Spartans won, uh, James is going to go ahead and upgrade the Arbiter. I honestly never play as the Arbiter, so I forget wh what the power upgrades for the Arbiter is. Um, what is it? It's not dual oh, blades. Man. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to embarrass myself. So he's going to upgrade the Arbiter once, and um, we're going to retest an Arbiter with the first upgrade against the three base Spartans and see how that works. All right, so here we go. I got the three base Spartans ready to go against the upgraded Arbiter. We're gonna see how this one works out. And you can tell right away that that upgrade just does a bunch of more damage. And you can also see the other two Spartans that aren't even getting attacked, their shields are going down because the upgrade from the Arbiter deflects some damage right back at the attackers. Which is actually kind of significant. And he's just tearing it up right now. Oh! It's gonna come down to the wire with this one. Oh, I don't think so. Yep. So the Arbiter just absolutely annihilated those three Spartans. So the first upgrade for the Arbiter is actually really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to Chain Gun, remake the three Spartans, and we're gonna try it again. Alright, so here are the three Spartans with the Chain Gun upgrade. Going to go up against the Arbiter with the Deflection Upgrade. And it's kind of really only like two Spartans are attacking him with the Chain Gun since the other one's, you know, physically punching him. <laughs> That's kind of funny how they die. This one's going to be really close, actually. It 
It all depends on how this last Spartan does and his, uh, oh, the Arby just got veteraned. Is he gonna win? Maybe not. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I try to mack him. Oh, that's kind of funny. So, yet again, Arby wins for the second time. So now, the only upgrade I have left is to upgrade to Spartan Laser. Because Neural Implant doesn't affect combat, attack, or capabilities for the Spartans. It just changes how quickly they can hijack enemy vehicles. So I gotta do Neural Implant and then Spartan Laser. And then we're gonna try it again and see how it works. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna have the three Spartans with Spartan Lasers up against Arby with the first deflection upgrade. And you're gonna see real quick, it's not even fair anymore. It's just completely lopsided to the other direction. The Spartans are just gonna mop the floor with Arby kind of eat him for lunch. I don't even know what I'm saying. But the Spartans <laughs> are just going to annihilate Arby. And um, it was actually kind of really interesting on how quickly the tides turned between the chain gun and the Spartan laser upgrade. Uh, so maybe it just tells you how good the Spartan laser upgrade is. Anyway, so we're going to come back one more time and see how an Arby with the second upgrade, I don't even know what it's called, <laughs> forgive me, is up against the three Spartans with Spartan lasers. All right, I think this is going to be the final test. Um, three Spartans with Spartan Laser. And it's just not even fair. Well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually going to be really close again. Let's see how Arby takes care of this last Spartan here. All right, he charged up his Spartan laser, and then he just changed his mind. And Arby won again! Look at that! That's actually unbelievable. <laughs> I did not expect to see that coming. So there you have it. Arby is absolutely better than three Spartans, and probably one of the most powerful Covenant leaders that there is, uh, the chair is obviously the weakest uh, covenant leader. And uh, here you can see I had an army ready to go to uh, James's base over here. But of course, he already knew what I was doing. Somehow. I don't know how. So I tried to mac his... Uh, Try to mac his vampires there, throw disruption bombs so his Arby can't do anything and drop some ODSTs. My Wolverines come in, but unfortunately, he has hunters waiting. I think like right where I drop them or something. And then he has jackals for my ODSTs. <laughs> so he just made anti. Yeah, there are the jackals. He just made anti everything. So I just got absolutely slaughtered. So the ending. The battle of me versus him, and, you know, that's customary in every Mythbusters, really wasn't that epic. But yeah, that concludes, uh, this Mythbusters. There is a playlist for all the videos that we have done and will do, and if this is your kind of first time watching the UNSC Spartans versus Covenant Leaders, I hope you check out the first video that we did for, um, testing out the Spartans against the Chair and the Brute Chieftain. And there's also, again, a playlist for everything, and we also do a You Pick, We Play series where you comment down below what unit you want us to use, and if we choose it, that's the only unit we're going to use against legendary AIs. But until then, thank you for watching, I'm Andrew, and I'll see you later.